Hey, everyone in Facebook land, Isa Herrera here from pelvicpainrelief.com, uh, coming live to you today to answer some very important questions, real answers to real questions posted by real people, and there is no driving on this show, okay? Today, I have an extraordinary um, treat for you, and I want, I have, I'm going live on Instagram, I'm going live on Facebook. And everybody knows that I'm having this huge Black Friday sale and all my courses are, are, are open for enrollment. Um, but I, what I wanted to get to today are what I consider the three laws or the three missing pieces of pelvic joy, okay? So uh, the question for, uh, for today comes from Florence from Mississippi. Uh, my healing has stalled. This is her question, okay? No matter what I do, I wake up in pain. I'm anxious, depressed, and I feel like a failure. What will it take for me to heal? That's the question. What does it take for us to heal? And I find that typically there are three missing things that um, – need to be addressed and i'm going to address those today and there are three laws so here are the laws the law of least effort the law of intention and desire and the law of gratitude that is the secret sauce to healing and i'm going to tell you how you're going to apply these laws um so here we go uh the law of least effort it's really super important right? because we, we think that there's going to be a hollow you, hollow you, uh, an all grace moment, right? Where healing is going to just happen spontaneously and we're going to get to Nevada and everything is going to be perfect. And it's going to be this one moment where it's a big light bulb moment and it's just going to be like, boom, we've arrived and we are healed. But that's not the case. Healing occurs in the law of least effort, and this is what I recommend, and this is what I find um, really important. The law of least effort is about doing small things. It's the small actions that you take on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So for healing to occur, it can, it can be very, like, overwhelming. So this is what I recommend. To apply this law, do something that's going to bring you really good results, but that you can do it under 10 minutes a day. And I apply this law to my pelvic healing programs, right? So my female pelvic alchemy program is divided into eight modules. And the reason I did that is because I want everybody to go, hi, Mary Louise, how are you? Mary Lou. Um, and I, I, I want everyone to apply the law in this way. Find something that you can do and on the 10 minutes that you can do well and that you enjoy doing, okay? So in my program, in my female public alchemy program, when I thought about the way I wanted to sequence this and it's part of my star system, I said, why not do set it up so that every module has a little piece in it that you can do to bring you pelvic joy and pelvic success. So that is the first law, the law of least effort, right? Because it just goes against everything that we that we think is possible, right? We think that you have to have put so much effort into everything in order to heal. And that's not just that's not true. Okay. Um so that's the first thing that I wanted to tell Florence. Okay. The second thing um is the law of intention and desire. Okay, these are, this is really super important, people, okay? Um, you ever hear the expression, I'm reading my notes because I just came up with this today. You ever hear the expression, whatever you put attention to in your life gets stronger in your life, and whatever you take attention away from in your life gets smaller and disintegrates? Well, it's the same thing when you're trying to reach pelvic joy when you're trying to heal your pelvis, your bladder, and you're leaking in your prolapse. So to apply this law, okay, to your pelvic healing and your attaining pelvic joy, we're not focusing on the pain. We're not focusing on how hard the exercise is. We're not focusing on, oh, this is not making a difference 
for me, right? Because we tend to, and, and women with pelvic floor dysfunction, I did this myself. Sometimes we have catastrophic thinking. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, think about this condition, how it can rob you of everything, okay? So what I like to do, and this, <clears throat> this law of intention and desire, is to bring the, to the focus on what's actually working in your life. What's actually working, right? Our brains are used to looking for danger, right? We have the reptilian brain is always on alert, uh, trying to find danger. And um, so, and that's, and so we focus on that more. We focus on the pain, we focus on the leaking, we focus on everything. And what happens is that's what you get more of, right? Because whatever you put your attention to is what multiplies in your life. Okay, and these are like philosophical um, things about healing, but they're all in my female public alchemy program. By the way, they're all 50% off. All you have to do is type in the word heal and I'll send you that information. Okay, so don't forget that type in the word heal. Um, so you can get that discount because I believe that if you are suffering from pelvic floor dysfunction, this is one of the ways that you can awaken your inner doctor. Okay, so instead of writing a pain journal, I'm actually going to switch this in my program because I thought it was so damn brilliant. Um, I'm going to, I always have, oh, track your pain, track your pain, track your pain, but no way. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to say track your joy, track what's working, track what makes you feel good, and then do more of that. Do more of it because your body is already telling you what it likes. And the moment that we don't, wow, the moment that, that we don't pay attention to that is the moment that, you know, everything just goes to hell, all right? So that's the second law, okay? It's the law of intention. I want everyone on this live to um, type in the, you know, to, to, to keep this journal, all right? And the best thing about this is that in my Facebook community for the Female Public Alchemy Program, what I've done is on the beginning of the week, we write, what is your intention for the week? And then at the end of the week, everybody writes what their wins are. So when you are looking to track your wins, when you're looking to track your intention, my Facebook community is pretty amazing. And that's my superstar queen, which is a private community. Um, and that's part of the Female Public Alchemy program. Um, so that's really important. I think that's really important. I think this, the more you track what's working, and you put your attention to it, the more things just start to escalate and feel better, okay? So the third law is the law of gratitude. Now, for a long time when I was suffering, I mean, let me tell you, I was not the best patient. When it came to catastrophic, you know, catastrophic thoughts, when it came to focusing on my pain, to when it when it, when it came to complaining, I think I was the queen. I was the queen of all of it, okay? But when I started to switch and pay attention to what's happening to my body and then apply the law of gratitude, you know, things started to change. Things started to get better for me. And one of the things that I realized with women who have pelvic floor muscle dysfunction, women who are healing or women who have prolapse, we tend to hold tight in our muscles. And when we hold tight in our muscles, for whatever reason, it could be because of the trauma, it could be because we have scar tissue, it could be because of stress, it could be, remember that your body responds to your thoughts. It could be for any of those things. Just that holding pattern can make your symptoms worse, right? So that is the law of gratitude. So I start my clients out with in the morning by writing a gratitude journal, really focusing on what is it that's going to bring me, it's going to change my emotions, it's going to change the way I feel to allow me to get to my pelvic joy. And one of those things is really focusing in on what you are grateful for. Nothing changes the vibration. Nothing changes and accelerates healing as this attitude of gratitude and tracking it and figuring out what's going well in your life.
and being grateful for. So those are the three laws that I wanted to share with everybody, which I think are the three missing links to all pelvic healing. And I apply these laws to my female pelvic alchemy program. So I do apply to every single aspect of that program for the, the, the females. And then of course I apply for the professionals because all my programs are open for enrollment at 50% discount. So if you want that information, just put it the word healing and I'll send that to you. Um, but I wanted to say that there's another component to healing that we also cover in this course, in this program, which are these three different laws, which the first law is the law of least effort, the law of intention and desire, and the law of gratitude. Because this is and not only will you get the exercises in my programs, not only do you get the tools, the massages and all that, but you also get these other additional help in the community. So I think it's so important that we follow these laws, that you join a community of like-minded women just like yourself, and that you get the support that you need, but at the same time that you're applying these three laws so that you can get to what I call pelvic joy. And that is what I'm bringing to you today. I am super excited that I actually went through this because these are the laws that I apply to my online programs. And these are the laws that I apply to my um, business. And these are the laws. I can't take credit for these laws. These laws are the work of Deepak Chopar, which I absolutely love. Um, so that is pretty amazing. Um, as far as questions about my program, there's a question that keeps coming up all the time. And I want to make sure that I answer that you do get lifetime access to the programs. And when you apply the law of intention and desire, when you apply the law of least effort, this is, this law is applied to that because I give you full access forever. And the reason I do that is because I want you to start with the law of least effort and start to apply things that bring you immediate success, okay? So that is one of the things that I want everybody to understand, okay? Um, uh, that's one of the questions, do you, have, do you get lifetime access? Absolutely. Um, the other question that I get is, um, how will I know if I'm getting better? And I think the way you're gonna know if you're getting better in the Female Public Alchemy Program is actually to track your pelvic joy and to keep a beautiful log on that, right? Because so many people are just focusing on keeping the pain diary. And I'm actually going to add this into the to the program. And this law of intention and desire, this law of putting your attention to what's working and what tools are working, what exercises are working, is going to be absolutely phenomenal for you. So that's the other question that I get. Gratitude, thanks for the reminder. One time it was suggested to me to think of one good thing that happened that day. Libby Lynn, absolutely Libby. And the thing is, when you, because because let's face it, pelvic floor dysfunction, pelvic pain, prolapse robs us of our joy. It does, period. Okay. I went through it. I've healed 14,704 other women and every single one of them has a lot of it's just, it, it just stops them from doing what they can do, right? So, so th the thing here is to switch it around because the only people that, the only ones that have the power to switch things around, to apply these three laws, to apply the law of gratitude, to apply the law of intention, to apply the law of least effort is you. But you have to have the tools. You have to have the exercises. You have to have the community the support and the love to follow through to your pelvic joy, okay? So that's what I want to bring attention to. Um, another question that I typically get about the program is um, what's it going to cost? How much is it going to cost? Well, go to pelvicpainrelief.com front slash female pelvic alchemy, I think, or whatever the link is that they're putting up. And I want you to read through that sales letter, okay, that informational page that I created specifically for you and see if it calls to you, right? 
Um, everything is 50% off. You have a four month payment plan. So everything is affordable. So the, the some money shouldn't be an object, uh, an objection. The only objection is, you know, are you going to go towards your fear or are you going to go away from your fear? Right. Sometimes it's really difficult to get to, to achieve pelvic joy when you don't have the support that you need. And so I just want you to know that when you do enroll in this program, we do have the female public alchemy superstar community, which is going to be fantastic. Um, this is a question from Teresa. Do you address pelvic atrophy? Well, if you're talking about, yes, pelvic atrophy is definitely addressed with my program because the thing is pelvic atrophy can occur for several reasons. It could be a hormonal issue, right? I mean, it could be an autoimmune issue. I mean, there's several issues why we become atrophic. But whatever the issue is, you must always address the pelvic floor muscles. When you address the pelvic floor muscles, make them more flexible, incorporate the, the intra-stretching, the intra-pelvic stretching, the reverse Kegels, which are all in the pelvic healing program. You start to bring more circulation to that area and more circulation equal better skin condition. So pelvic atrophy can happen when the muscles themselves are really weak or when the skin itself can have a problem. So yes, we cover um, so many things and the program does cover this, okay? And the Facebook community is there to help you and you get a lot of information in the Facebook community by women who have successfully um, done the program and from women who are in a like-minded States. Okay. So it's really fantastic because one of the things that I love is I love to see this community together. And sometimes I'm getting ready to answer a question and boom, somebody beat me to it. And it wasn't one of my physical therapists. I wish it was actually a woman in the community helping out other women. So it's a really nice place to land and they catch you really softly in their arms. So I love it for that. So yes, you know, depending on what kind of atrophy you're talking about, it could, yes, my program does address that through exercise, through in uh, pelvic massages, through reverse Kegels, through Kegels, and through body work, okay? So those are the key things I want to let you know there, uh, Teresa. So I'm really happy that you asked that question because it's a very important question. Type in the word healing if you would like to get information about uh, this sale, which by the way, ends tonight at 11.59 Pacific time. I would like to see everyone, everyone in this program, all women in all planets, in all universes, because I believe that this is the front of frontier. You know what's going to change the world? Relentless self care. When we put ourselves first on our own list, when we're not willing anymore to bump ourselves down the list, you know, how many times have I bumped myself down my own list? More times than I'm actually proud to say, you know? So I get that. But what I'm telling you right now is that there is another way of being. There is another way to get to this healing. And I, my job is to do service leadership where I service my skills to all the women in the world who need it. And there's 30 million women in the world alone from chronic pelvic pain. And so you're not alone. You're actually in the majority. And when we stop feeling like we're alone and isolated, and when we reach out and get the support that we need, I think it would change the world because we're changing ourselves. Okay. Um, this is Isa Herrera. I don't see any other questions. So this is amazing. Um, and yeah, this is really amazing. I'm super excited. Everybody turn in. If you're a professional, I got something for you guys too. So, um, you, you go to, to the website, um, and that, uh, pelvicpainrelief.com front slash professionals, and you'll get your discount because many people think that the, the discount is only for, um, my ladies, my superstar queens, but it's actually for the professionals too, because if they're not doing the work that needs to be done to help you, and you're not learning the techniques and the tools that you need to know to help yourself, then where's the collaboration? Where's the partnership healthcare? 
right? So it's really important to have that beautiful relationship where you're able to take care of yourself. But if you need to seek somebody outside that they know what the heck they're doing and my program just combines that beautiful relationship in, in, in just the perfect, most beautiful ways. Okay, uh, this is from Bridget. What if fibroids are present? If fibroids are present, you would still do what you need to do to examine the pelvic floor muscles, right? Because the pelvic floor muscles here, I'm gonna bring these out, support the uterus and the bladder, right? So if these muscles are in good condition, as you can see, they're a basket and they hold things. If they're in good conditions, they're not going to, it's not going to eliminate your fibroids. But if your fibroids are making your pelvic floor muscles tighter or weaker or, you know, putting too much stress on the pelvic floor and creating a prolapse, then yes, my program can help you with that. It's not going to help with the fibroids, so don't get me wrong, but it will help you to maintain your femaleness strong, flexible, and supple. And you need that, okay? You need that, especially since these muscles support the uterus and the bladder and the intestines, okay? So I'm glad that I was able to answer that question. Again, this is Isa Herrera from pelvicpainrelief.com. All my programs are 50% off for Cyber Monday. Get in there. Get the healing that you need. Reclaim your pelvic joy. Create, if you're a pro, a lucrative practice, a niche practice, specialized classes so the women in the world can come to you and heal. And at the same time, make sure that you know how to heal yourself. Because if you don't know how to heal yourself, then you're missing 50% of the equation. Okay? Again, welcome to my Pelvic Power Hour show. Thank you for watching the replay. Real answers to real questions posted by real women, and there's no jiving on this show. A thousand thanks, everyone. You got, you got all these hearts.